I, I must say that I'm really impressed because when I see where so f where, where far we are here, we are 60 kilometers from Delta, and uh, it's uh, and I see the the neighborhood. Um, I'm sorry, it's only civil society that can reach that type of place. I, I really feel as if I'm on the ground. And Bangladesh has been a success story. But for me to see physically and appreciate that the community, the mothers, the women are the ones out there pushing for immunization is remarkable. And it's very useful, it really grounds what we're doing. It makes you understand the realities and the complexities of delivering projects. You know, we have an idea if we sit in donor capitals that a bit of money, a bit of attention, and governments can just jump. Well, they don't, they need a structure. And what we've seen today with the vaccine delivery system that they have here in Bangladesh is how many levels are needed if you're actually gonna get the vaccines to all the children. This is again, take us back to the role of the CSOs in our countries, specifically in Africa, because if we have very strong national or regional platform, then it's the best way for the civil society to be real partner of government in order to have a better, a strong health system. In some countries, for example, uh, civil society may deliver a majority of the immunizations, particularly through faith-based organizations. Secondly, we're very useful, I think, in advocacy and communication and in being able to reach people in the most remote areas in, in many countries. I think civil society at, uh, in Afghanistan, they currently provide uh, around 80-85% of their whole immunization services and healthcare services. If civil society is not there, nobody can be there and the services cannot be provided. The partnership between Gavi and civil society is very key to Gavi achieving their overall business plan that they have set out. We are the people on the ground. You cannot strengthen the health system without strengthening the communities, without strengthening the society. CSOs are a powerful community. We go down to the grassroots. And some of us, whereas we offer technical support and advocacy and all that, some of my colleagues in the, in the CSO steering committee and other CSOs go beyond the call of duty to reach the fifth child. Well, I think CSOs have a particularly important role in terms of making sure there is community demand for vaccination. Vaccination should be a right, and we know that about a fifth of children are still missing out on the basic immunizations. Never mind pneumococcal and rotavirus, they're not getting the basic existing vaccinations. And the reason for that is that there's not a proper functioning health system in those countries. So what we've got to do, and civil society has a key role to play in that, is make sure people know what they're entitled to and are demanding it, are advocating for it, and then governments have to respond. And Gavi is one of the ways that will help them to do that. Within the public sector, you are limited to what you can say or what you can do. But then, being in the civil society arena, we become more vocal, advocates with experience from the field to back what we are saying, to try and point out that the demand side of health is not being met, to point out that access to health is not being met that information to the people is not being met. Civil society can play an important role as in its watchdog function. And they are in a position to verify, triangulate, and sometimes uh, be a form of information to Gavi and say, look guys, here's something going wrong. And better than that, it would be even proposing solutions to come out of that. <laughs> One important benefit is we sharing experiences from many countries. So we look at other countries, how civil society is working, how they provide health services and immunization services, and we learn from each other. Gavi, countries, leading, you know, leading countries, 
and the non-governmental organisations, civic society, should all be working together because that's the way you will get the best results in, in the end. So that's partnership we see as a very important partnership and we see it as um, an opportunity for us to also prove that civil society can add value to what is going on at the global level.